Hey, what's up guys, Ravenclaw here and welcome back to another episode here on the Ravenclaw channel and today I wanted to talk to you about getting the most out of your character, not necessarily just the hunter, but your character in general. I, while I was away, I had a lot of questions asked about you know, what's the best talents to take and what's, you know, Azerite's talents and all this other stuff. So I thought I would get all of those questions and make a video one after another. And the, the one that was asked the most was how to get the most damage from your hunters. So what I wanted to talk about is just a sort of a, a basic guide on how to sort of simulate your characters to, to understand the where you're going with your build, what's, you know, the theoretical best gear and the best talents and everything to help you get the most out of your tune. So the first thing that you would want to do is download the add-on SimCraft. So all of the links will be in the description so you can just click and get what you need. Um, if you have the Twitch client or the Curse client, but I believe they merged. Um, so the Twitch client will now allow you to get all the add-ons. So you want to get yourself the SimCraft add-on uh, along with another add-on called Pawn. And we'll get into the Pawn side of things later. That sounds really weird, but hey, that's just my style. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look into what SimCraft does. So when you download it and you get it onto your game, you'll go forward slash SIMC. And this will bring up a whole bunch of stats. This, you don't need to really go through. All it's doing is getting basically all of your items, IDs and everything like that. So you can then paste it into the relevant websites that will help you have a better understanding of your tune. So when you get this up, you want to control A, control C, copy it, and then head over to a website called Raidbots. Okay, so once you're on the website, this will be in the description too. So make sure you go and check that out. You'll have this page here. This has a whole bunch of stuff. So what we're gonna go over is we're gonna go over the basic understanding of what each one of them does. And if you guys want a more in-depth look at this and how to understand the, the simulations and the formulas and all that stuff, I can do another more advanced guide. But this is just to give you a quick understanding of what you guys can do to help uh, get that damage out and really help you progress further. Um, so let's go through the top one. Top gear, um, what you need to do first before we go into it is in this here, so it says paste input from the simulation craft add-on. So highlight everything in there and then control V. That'll paste your specific, <laughs> your specific stats into that from that string you copied. Now, I want to make something very clear that yes, my gear at the moment is horrible. I have been away for like three months. So I haven't had a chance to progress, do anything like that, but but it is also mostly survival hunter PvP stuff. However, the concept and everything like that still is relevant. So once you paste everything in, you'll come up with all of your gear that you have on and all the other bits and pieces that you have available to you within your bags and stuff. Um, the top gear, what it allows you to do is it allows you to select multiple items. So if you were debating between, say, um, for example, these two gloves, you're thinking, well, someone said this was the best, but this one has a slot, so I might click that. So it allows you to, you know, select different uh, combinations for you to check later, and we'll get down to that in a second. Not only does it allow you to check different items, but it also allows you to check different types of um, enchantments, scopes, and so on and so forth. So once you make your selections, your, the ones that you want to test, you'll see down here the amount of combinations that it will come up with. Um, you, all you need to do now is come down to find, now we'll go over this simulation option in, in another section, but all you need to do is go to find top gear and it will run. Now, if you're not a premium member of this website, you will have to wait through, it can be quite a large number of simulations in a queue, so just be mindful of that. But with the power of YouTube, you guys don't have to wait for anything. All right, so once you have got to the end of the queue, it'll start generating all of those uh, iterations 
of your gear sets and everything like that and then you'll get to the uh, the finished result so once the um, simulation has finished it will come up with a bunch of information for you to look at this will give you an understanding of what is the theoretical best uh, items for you to choose as based on what you've selected and so on and so forth uh, as you can see what I have now does not give me much of an increase at all um, but this will help you if you've got like a whole bunch of good decent gear in your bags that you aren't 100% with and you just wanted to sort of get the best out of what you've got this would be the way to go um, but yeah that's the top gear now we'll move on next one is drop demizer this is this essentially allows you to sort of do simulations based on gear that drops in different aspects of the game I'm gonna say so you've got the world drops you've got um, the all deer raid um, the battle for Dazar a law that's probably not how you say it but whatever uh, mythic pluses and your azurite vendors apparently this is a new feature to the site which is awesome um, but I don't really have to go into deep with this it is basically what you guys would assume it to be so you select where you want to go you can select the tier that you want to look for um, you can also then select whether you want it to you're looking for a war forge piece or a titan forged and then once you are ready to go you can run the drop demizer and it will tell you what it believes to be the best items to go for in those sort of scenarios all right so the next we have gear compare so gear compare once again you paste your uh, string into here and this will allow you to compare directly to either two gear sets that you might be running that you aren't too sure about or you can actually make up a set of your own based on maybe other people's gear that you've seen on the leaderboards or something like that you can run that set based up against your set and see where you need to improve on the items that you have and that's pretty much uh, one of the ways to go when you're looking at uh, either you know you you're not sure whether it's your talents or is it the gear or things like that you can just come here and directly compare them uh, there's not really much else to that um, so we'll move on to the next section all right so next one is your talent compare and this is what a lot of people were asking about what's the best talents to take and so on and so forth so what we are going to do is once you come to this section here you will can then load up your string so you paste your string there you press enter and it will bring up the talents that you already have what I normally do is I'll go duplicate the talent set so you've got the exact same thing and then you can run different sims based on the ones you want to choose so let's say I'm gonna go animal companion one with the pack um, you know you will see if barrage is better and then we'll go straight down the middle uh, some of the ones you don't really need, like post haste and this one here are just sort of more utility than anything else uh, you can do it again um, we can say this time we're going to killer instincts with one with the pack um, set a murder of crows this time we'll go like that try stampede and we'll try spinning cobra you get the idea so once you've collected enough sort of information you can then go compare talents and wait in the queue once again now once that has finished its simulations it'll come up to this screen here and this will give you an idea um, on where your DPS would theoretically sit after you take these talent choices and as you can see the talent choice that I have taken here will give me the max output based only on these talents that we've chosen um, but yeah so very straightforward you can mess around this is once again it's not for hunters only it's for everybody but this will give you a better understanding on those talents uh, so the quick sim is literally what you'd think it would be it just runs quick simulation based on your uh, current stats so what we want to do is we want to come into the simulation option which we'll use for the stat weights as well um, this is normally what I usually run with so it's 10,000 iterations so 10,000 tests um, 
with the fight style will be the patchwork. Um, number of bosses I only ever do one. You can do more if you really want to for longer sort of understandings. Um, six minute fights, usually when I'm testing my DPS, I will, even if it's against a training dummy or something like that, I'll do it for a, a minute, a sort of a period of five to six minutes. So that way I can get a total output that's with procs, buffs, everything like that. Uh, and I choose nightly for the sim craft version. Uh, these ones down here, I sort of just leave the same. Um, I don't really change any of this, but I feel, feel free to come through here and check them all out for yourself. And you might be able to use all the different ones, like different raid buffs and stuff. Uh, but anyway, so once you do that, you run your quick sim and it will come up with some more detailed information. And the last one we're going to look at here is the stat weights. And this is what we're going to use the pawn add-on for. Paste your string into that. Then this will, once you've put in the, um, the information, it should carry across to the different tests. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run this and it will bring back a result of the stat weights that we need to look for in the gear when they drop and other bits and pieces. So if you're not really chasing a piece, this will allow you to have sort of a visual representation in game of a piece that drops. So you can just quickly look at it and go, ah, this is an upgrade based on the simulation I did at this time. Uh, once again, these are, as I know I keep going on about these are simulations. Um, these are based on a whole bunch, like a large database of different types of, you know, fights and collected information and put together to give you sort of an overall uh, where is everything at right now sort of deal. Uh, but it does help a lot and a lot of high-end raiders and stuff, they do this, they live by this. So that way you can get your, um, you have gears for different situations. You can not only do just single target, you can do AOE fights, find out what best gear is for that AOE and what, you know, can you drop a stat on a thing and make it up with food and other bits and pieces like that. But we'll get into that sort of stuff in another video. Okay, so now that that has finished, you'll get these weights. And what this will do, it will allow the um, add-on, the pawn add-on to now look at gear and sort of suggest to you that this would be the most optimal piece based on the stat weights that have come back. And, oh, whoops. Yeah, so based on the stat weights that you have got here. Now, what we'll do is we'll copy this thing down here. So click to copy the um, clipboard and we'll go back into game. Okay, so once you're in game, you can do forward slash P-A-W-N. This will bring up the add-ons interface here. Uh, you can now go into your weights down here, but what we'll do first is, so you've got share your scale. You can actually export what you've got here. If you've made your own stat weights, you can export it for other players, but we can go here and go import. You paste that string of text that you got just before, put it in here and then you will end up getting because this is already the exact same one that I've already done it'll end up having your own up here so you can see that it comes with default weights um, but you can then go into your scale you can rename it to whatever you want and then once you've set this all up and you've got everything in here remember too if you came back and you said actually no I want this to come back with a higher crit rate I wanted to I know I want to have more uh, mastery you can go in and alter the numbers here as well so now what's happened is you've got this sort of test result here now when you get gear you'll notice that this little green arrow comes up and what will happen is if you highlight it you'll see underneath the description of the item you'll see it says survival and that'll be based on the t the stat weights that are predefined for your survival set now, watch what happens if I put this in. So, this at the moment is the best weapon that I have on me at the moment. And as you can see at the very bottom there, based on the, um, the weapon choice, it'll say that the stats that are on this weapon will give me a 22% upgrade for my Beast Mastery set. So, obviously, that's the one I'll take. Um, there are going to be some instances with like rings and stuff that are going to give you like a 1% upgrade and all this stuff. This I found to be more just sort of like 
work it out sort of it's not going to be a huge difference um, so if you get something that's going to give you like this much I mean it comes down to your own preference which one you'd like to take um, but yeah doing these things running these simulations regularly and sort of getting a better understanding of your character's uh, base damage will then allow you to determine is this my gear that's letting me down or is it my rotation and spell priorities and like buff maintenance um, is that what's letting me down so I wanted to talk a little bit um, on how to get the idea of what your gear is and you can get that under wraps and if you are still having a problem what we'll do is I will then go over another um, there's another couple of add-ons that will help you work with your Azerite traits properly so you can get the best traits whenever you get the particular Azerite armor. Uh, but yeah, then if you have any questions or you want me to do more guides on sort of like, you know, your spells and rotations and all this other jazz for PvE, let me know and we'll go through that as well. Uh, but other than that, I just wanted to touch base on these quick, simple tips to help you um, increase your damage in all the PvE situations. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. And yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button and join the Ravenclaw community. Would love to have you on board. But yeah, until next time, you awesome hunters out there, you keep on sniping, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.